Chapter 24, Tao Yan Grien As night fell, in the vast snow forest, bursts of cold wind whistled, rolling up layers of wind and snow, quite a feeling of ghost crying and wolf howling. Outside the cave, it was dark and cold. Inside the cave, it was a different scene. Inside the large cave, the five-member group had already lit a bonfire, and the beating fire not only brought light and warmth to the place. And above the bonfire, there was a small pot in which mushroom shredded pork soup was boiled. Whether it's a small pot or soup, it's all materials provided by the school, especially the military ration soup, which is full of fragrance and makes people drool. Su Taiping didn't come all day, and now that it was night, Rong Dao Tao was of course even more vigilant. He held Fang Tianhua Halbert in his arms, leaning leaning on the entrance of the cave, while absorbing the soul power of the ice and snow attribute, trying to improve his soul magic realm, on the other hand, he was secretly vigilant against the outside environment. Beside the bonfire, Sun Xingya was snuggling in Li Ziai's arms, whispering something. And Sun Xingya's roommate Zhou Ting always peeked at the two from time to time, her eyes full of envy. Rong Dao Tao. Hey. Rong Dao Tao turned his head and saw L Yu Mang holding a long sword. L Yu Mang, a lot time for the vigil. We still have to survive here for seven days. We must rotate on duty to ensure the physical strength and energy of all members of the team. Well. Rong Dao Tao nodded, which is why he must form a team and seek win win cooperation. The forest sea snow field at night is far more terrifying than the forest sea snow field in the daytime. We are guarding the first post. From the depths of the cave, Li Ziai's unique drake voice came. Rong Dao Tao was terribly uncomfortable, and said, I said, can you grow up quickly, if you really can't, just grow your voice first, you're really blinding your face. The emperor is not in a hurry, the is in a hurry. Li Ziai snorted coldly, and squeezed the love concubine tightly in his arms. What the fuck? This kid is good at mouth guns? Just as Rong Dao Tao was about to say something, he heard a shout from the forest in the distance, Is there anyone ahead? Rong Dao Tao and L Yu Mang looked at each other and clenched the weapons in their hands. At the same time, the three people in the cave also stood up one after another. It's great. It's great. Accompanied by a burst of joyful voices, several figures held flashlights and walked quickly towards the cave that was flickering with fire. Hello, how are you? It's such a joy to see the same kind of people. A student strode forward, even with the big goggles on his face, he could see his extremely excited expression. His face was not flushed with excitement, but his face was pale, his body was trembling and it looked like he was frozen. Rong Tao Tao remained silent, looking at a few students who came from the wind and snow, his thoughts suddenly changed. Can we settle here? It's too windy and cold outside, and the sky is so dark. If we go on like this, we will easily be attacked by spirit beasts. The student pulled down his goggles and looked at Liu Mang pleadingly. Rong Tao Tao was leaning against the entrance of the cave. At this time, L. Yu Mang was standing in the C position. The opposing team had a total of six people, obviously like Rong Dao Tao's team, they cooperated to survive. Classmates, let's settle down here and help. There was also a plea from the few people behind. L. Yu Mang turned to look at Rong Dao Tao, but Rong Dao Tao shrugged his shoulders and turned to look inside the cave. At this moment, Zhou Ting who was standing by the bonfire to observe the situation secretly, acted like an ostrich, staggered Rong Dao Tao's gaze, and did not speak. In this extremely special environment, there is no such thing as non-committal. Zhou Ting didn't nod or make any statement, which already represented her inner resistance. For this group of middle school students, such an assessment method is indeed embarrassing. On the one hand, they had to cooperate to survive, on the other hand, all the students participating in the assessment were all competitors. Sun Xingyu and Li Ziai looked at each other, then turned to Rong Dao Tao and said, The cave has a lot of space, um, you decide. 
Can you give me a word? It's even freezing to death. A female voice came out, very impatient, but she was dragged by the person beside her, and she closed her mouth immediately. The form is stronger than that of people. At this time, the newly arrived team is exhausted on the road, and it is almost impossible to stand, let alone fight in the cave. They really had no choice. Seeing the fire was equivalent to seeing hope, and they came forward without hesitation. They have no way out, and they have no intention to consider whether the Rong Dao Tao team will be detrimental to them. Rong Dao Tao tilted his head into the cave and said, Take a rest, but there are some things to say ahead. We will only take you in for one night. Our team is enough. Tomorrow morning, you have to set off to find another place to stay. Humph, I really treat this as your home. The girl pouted, her voice was not small, and she walked forward. The arrogant sons of the heavens obviously have personalities. What's more, this is a group of children who have not yet stepped into society. If they are spoiled by the family, then it is not unusual for them to say anything. Of course, let alone an ignorant child, in this wonderful world, there are many adult giant babies, and there are always some bad people who take the help and charity of others as their due. Rong Dao Tao has always been a person who eats soft and not hard. He holds Fang Tian Hua halberd in one hand and points to the direction of the voice, No, you can go. The male student in front stepped forward quickly, his trembling palm rested on Fang Tian Hua's halberd pole, and pressed down gently, Hey, buddy, misunderstanding, we are frozen stupid. The body is almost frozen. After a day's walk, everyone is in a hurry, sorry, sorry, we will leave early tomorrow, we will leave early. Hearing the unique vocabulary and apologetic words, Rong Dao Tao grinned and put down Fang Tian Huaji. The people at the entrance of the cave entered and walked quickly towards the cave that was flickering with fire. Senior. Rong Dao Tao said suddenly. Ah. Sun Xingya was watching a few people gather around the fire to keep warm, and when she heard Rong Dao Tao's words, she turned to look. Rong Dao Tao, talk to them about the rotation of the night watch. Since we live here, everyone has to share the responsibility for the safety of tonight. Ao. Sun Xingyu took over the task. Obviously, in Rong Dao Tao's five-person team, Sun Xingyu should be the most talking and the most suitable for serving as a diplomat. Li Ziyi opened his mouth and said, Call your full name, less nicknames. Rong Dao Tao is so uncomfortable, he found out, Li Ziyi doesn't talk much, but whenever he speaks, he either protects Sun Xingyu or hates Rong Dao Tao. Li Ziyi's mouth seems to grow for these two things. Rong Dao Tao, plum shut up. Li Ziyi? Yes, not only Sun Xingyu has a nickname, but Li Ziyi has not been spared. Then what are you? Ha ha. Sun Xingyu covered her mouth and snickered, her youthful and sweet appearance warmed the atmosphere in the cave a lot. Delicious and pleasing to the eye. Under the red cotton hat, Sun Xingyu's beautiful big eyes blinked and said, Are you Tower? Rong Dao Tao. Sun Xingyu's eyes suddenly lit up pointing to L. Yu Mang and saying, You are Mango. L. Yu Mang's expression froze slightly. He's sharp, not Mango, uh, well, he is. Then what are you? Sun Xingyu looked at Zhou Ting, thinking hard about vocabulary. Zhou Ting twitched the corner of her mouth in embarrassment. Rong Dao Tao cleared the siege in a timely manner and said, Zhou Ting never imagined that she would come all the way to this icy world and form a team with the fruit plate. Zhou Ting lowered her head silently, her shoulders could not help shaking a little, it seemed that it was very hard to hold back her laughter. Wow, it's so warm. In the other team, the girl finally showed her true face. She took off her goggles, but her eyes were fixed on the soup boiled on the fire, and she picked up the side by herself. Cup and scooped myself a cup of soup. Such a scene, of course, was seen by everyone. At the entrance of the cave, Liu Mang was expressionless, but Rong Dao Tao narrowed his eyes slightly. Drink all, 
and warm up. Sun Xingyu came back to her senses, and said hello without saying too much. Several other members of the other team put down their school bags and looked for cups from the bag. At the entrance of the cave, El Yumang turned around and looked at the dark, snow-stormed forest outside, and suddenly said, Since ancient times, peaches have nourished people, apricots have hurt people, and people have been buried under plum trees. Rong Dao Tao was obviously stunned. What the hell? Although this kid doesn't talk much, but he has a set of sets, and he has quite a literary quality. Rong Dao Tao looked at El Yumang with a strange expression, and said, I raise people? Who said that? El Yumang, it has been said since ancient times. Rong Dao Tao, it has been said since ancient times to guide me to support people? Tisk tisk, I thought I couldn't find a girlfriend in my life, if so. I will have at least two girlfriends in the future, one at home and another outside. I follow the instructions of my ancestors, and I am looking for a mistress it's perfect. El Yumang glanced blankly at Rong Dao Tao, and indeed found that the thinking of the two sides was not on the same level. He did not refute, but said lightly, I wish you success. Rong Dao Tao smiled and showed his white teeth, and gave El Yumang a thumbs up. Hello, buddy, my name is Zheng Tianpeng. A male voice came from behind him. It was the student who walked in front of the team and negotiated with Rong Dao Tao. Rong Dao Tao turned around, looked at the palm handed over by the other party, and reached out to hold it. Even though both of them were wearing gloves, Rong Dao Tao clearly felt the coldness of the other's palm. Thank you for letting us stay here. Zhang Tianpeng said with a good attitude and said with a smile. Ah, it's fine. Rong Dao Tao nodded casually. Zhang Tianpeng, student Sun Xingyu has already been assigned. We have one person on each side. Starting at nine o'clock in the evening, the guard will be changed every two hours. Rong Dao Tao tilted his head slightly, glanced over Zhang Tianpeng's shoulder, saw Sun Xingyu, and gave her a thumbs up. Sun Xingyu's arrangement is very reasonable, Yu Yu reading www. Both sides of Yu Yuganshu.com have one each to take care of each other and supervise each other. Our team member Wen Ying had a bad attitude just now. Today's life is really hard. My buddies have more understanding and tolerance. Zhang Tianpeng said with a smile. Rong Dao Tao nodded casually and said nothing. In the vagueness, Rong Dao Tao felt gazes, he turned his head to look, but just saw the girl named Wen Ying, holding a cup in her hand, turned her head and looked away. After Zhang Tianpeng left, El Yumang took a step and leaned over to Rong Dao Tao's side, and said softly, Why did you add trouble and promise to take them in? Be kind. Rong Dao Tao, the school has not given any assessment criteria. Do you think that at this special moment, if we take in these students and provide them with shelter, will the school give extra points to our team? El Yumang nodded thoughtfully. At this moment, there are at least eleven soldiers guarding the dark place, and of course they will all see the scene. The Rong Dao Tao team's move to take in and shelter human compatriots has a high probability of being a bonus option. Of course, if this is a bonus item, then during the daytime, if the team members inadvertently intervene, and Su Taiping leaves in a misunderstanding, I don't know whether to add or subtract points. I just hope the soldiers have some judgment in their hearts. After all, what Rong Dao Tao said was clear, they never wanted to drive Su Taiping out of his place, they just needed an apology. El Yumang looked at Rong Dao Tao silently and said, I thought you were a sincere, friendly, and kind-hearted person. Rong Dao Tao, if you say that, then I won't be stubborn with you. El Yumang. There is one more later. Chapter 25, Fruit Grower and Snake Su Taiping may have been delayed by something, or maybe it was just a symbolic way of regaining his face and speaking harshly when he left. All in all, that night, everyone slept soundly, and no one disturbed them until the sky was bright. At seven o'clock in the morning, almost everyone got up. 
Rong Dao Tao was on duty at 1 to 3 o'clock last night. He slept loosely, and his whole body was groggy and his head was a little confused. In this environment, even if someone was watching, Rong Dao Tao was always vigilant and could not sleep well at all. Hey! At this moment, Rong Dao Tao was standing at the entrance of the cave and couldn't help sighing. The big bed at home is better, so don't worry. Come on, Dao Tao, it's time to eat. Sun Xingyu's voice came from behind. Rong Dao Tao bent down, grabbed two mouthfuls of white snow with one hand, ate two mouthfuls, and immediately felt a lot of energy, he walked into the cave while ba ba ba. Military ration is really a good thing, especially in this icy world, self-heating mutton pilaf, and a box of canned pork, ah beautiful. But the strange thing is that in the cave, except for the sound of everyone eating, no one spoke. No one is stupid, especially everyone in Rong Dao Tao's team, they all know that it is time for Zhang Tinpeng's team to leave after this meal. Last night, the two teams had already agreed that Zhang Tinpeng's team could only stay here for one night. Rong Dao Tao looked at Zhang Tinpeng's team who were concentrating on eating and were unusually silent. He was still thinking about how to send off the guests for a while. At this time, Zhou Ting of his own team suddenly said, Zing Yu. Hey. Sun Zing Yu was holding a thermos cup in his hand, sipping hot water, and looked at Li Zi who was gobbling beside him. Hearing her roommate's call, she turned her head and looked at Zhou Ting inquiringly. Zhou Ting looked a little embarrassed, and said, I think our two teams cooperated very well. They helped us share the night duty last night. Hearing this sentence, Li Ziyi, who was devoured, stopped the action of picking up the rice, holding the military ration and rice bag in his hand, and turned to look at Zhou Ting. Zhou Ting smiled, and it seemed that the more she said, the more confident she became, there are more people and more strength. I thought, should we let them stay and we will tide over the difficulties together. For a while, everyone stopped. Rong Dao Tao frowned slightly, and his thoughts turned sharply. Not right. You know, when he took in Zheng Tinpeng's team yesterday, Rong Dao Tao deliberately turned around to ask the players what they meant. Sun Xingyu said, the cave is a big place, the meaning is obvious, and she is willing to take in the other party. But this Zhou Ting was an ostrich, and her rejection was very clear. What made her change her mind overnight? Suddenly want this new team to stay? Who is Zhou Ting on duty with? I think about it, from 5 to 7 in the morning, Zhou Ting was with the other team. Wen Ying's group. Rong Dao Tao couldn't help turning his head and looked at Wen Ying opposite the bonfire. At this time, the girl was holding compressed biscuits in her hand looking at Zhou Ting with a satisfied look on her face. Damn! Zhou Ting was bought? What did Wen Ying promise to Zhou Ting? Judging from Wen Ying's spoiled performance yesterday, she is probably the eldest lady from a wealthy family. She should have no shortage of resources. L. Yu Mang suddenly said, We have enough people. Besides, an agreement is an agreement. In Rong Dao Tao's team, L. Yu Meng and Zhou Ting are obviously of the same grade. Rong Dao Tao, Sun Xingyu and Li Ziyi have been classmates for three years, but L. Yu Meng and Zhou Ting are roommates who only met in the past two days. The two of them were able to get together with this team, and luck factored most of it. L. Yu Meng, who has always been silent, said such words at this time, his attitude was very clear and he also completely separated himself from Zhou Ting. Brother, don't say that, the situation has changed. Zhang Tianpeng, the leader of the opposing team, suddenly spoke with a smile on his face, his attitude was still as friendly as yesterday, but he didn't seem to plan to complete the agreement. Zhang Tianpeng continued, this cave is so big that it can fully accommodate all of us. If we go out to find other places to stay, we will have to search outside for a long time. Yes. Yet. Yeah. People, it's better to be kind. You can't watch others suffer. In Zhang Tinpeng's team, there were several voices. 
and Zheng Tianpeng also turned his head to look at Rong Daotao and said, Last night, our cooperation was really good, and today we will further refine the responsibilities of each team member. I think we will be able to live comfortably through the next few days. Wen Ying also spoke, and said from the side, The cave is so big that it can fully accommodate our two teams, and there is no need for anyone to go out against the wind and snow. Don't be so stingy, just like last night, it's all a matter of words. Haha. <laughs> Zheng Tianpeng smiled, looked at Rong Dao Tao, and said, It's really a matter of one sentence, this place is so big, and one more team is enough to accommodate, there is no need to always think about last night's agreement, after all, we found a better way to work together. Yet, yeah, yet, yeah, just a little effort. This cave was never anyone's home. Brother, our captain's posture is so low, you don't need to hold it all the time, it's easy to get into trouble. Yo? Does that make sense? Rong Dao Tao couldn't help speeding up the cooking speed. Snort snort. Under the watchful eyes of the public, Rong Dao Tao finished the food in the military ration bag, wiped his mouth, and said, Words such as hands-on can only be said by our team, and only by the charity party. It is not worthy to beg a party. The smile on Zhang Tinpeng's face quickly faded, and Wen Ying's complexion also stiffened. Zhang Tianpeng said, Dude, you don't need to talk like that. I have to say that. Rong Dao Tao threw away the military ration bag in his hand and said, You are so generous to others, you have to let your scumbags and dogs know. Saying that, Rong Dao Tao tilted his head slightly, and gestured to Wen Ying, and Zhang Tinpeng's team. Zhang Tinpeng's smile that quickly converged gradually became gloomy. Rong Dao Tao said with a smile, You're angry? That's right. You have to find your own position when you speak. Zhang Tianpeng stood up suddenly and said solemnly, Are you teaching me to do things? Hula la. Everyone in the cave stood up. Rong Dao Tao also stood up and curled his lips, To be exact, you taught me to do things. If you can break the promise today, if you want to cooperate with me for a win-win situation, you will be able to keep the promise tomorrow. Rong Dao Tao was very sure of his judgment, and he knew even more that if he left with everyone like this, his team should be disbanded. More importantly, Rong Tao Tao trained Fang Tian Huaji, highlighting a domineering force, he was not a dagger. Man Trainer Equipment, the same training people. The way a person's martial arts takes, on an objective level, will more or less affect a person's attitude towards life. Saying that, Rong Dao Tao turned to look at Zhou Ting and said, What are you doing, hurry up. Zhou Ting looked a little embarrassed, opened her mouth, but couldn't say anything. Ting Ting, come here. Wen Ying said to Rong Dao Tao's face. Under the astonished gaze of Sun Xingyu, Zhou Ting lowered her head and walked towards Zhang Tinpeng's team. A three-day roommate is not a three-year roommate after all. Hey, seriously. Rong Dao Tao said to Wen Ying, I don't know how you turned against Zhou Ting within two hours. Especially last night, she was the only one in our team who made it clear that she would not accept your team. In short, I have a message for you, she can swing into your team today, and she can swing into someone else's team tomorrow. Zhou Ting's already pale face turned even paler. This is the end of the matter, it's useless to talk more. Zhang Tianpeng suddenly spoke, interrupting Rong Dao Tao's words, and continued, I want to cooperate and reciprocate, but it seems that you are determined to go all the way to the dark. Rong Dao Tao took the Fang Tian Hua halberd handed over by L. Yu Mang, and Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com said, Well, as a person, I only believe in armed fire, not peaceful evolution. If you are a fit, I can really accept you. The problem is, you are here with a tour group. If you can say this today, tomorrow those who are disobedient and who you dislike will have to be kicked out of the cave by you. Hearing this, Zhang Tianpeng with a gloomy face suddenly smiled, he is a sensible person, we have seven, you only have four, you leave the cave now, 
I promise no one will touch you, maybe you can find survival outside. Opportunity. Wen Ying said sharply, yes, hurry up, it's best to find a place to stay outside for three days and three nights, freeze to death outside, and taste what it's like. Feeling comfortable, Wen Ying felt completely comfortable. Now that the words have been spoken, Wen Ying will not hide. She finally expressed her true thoughts, and her mood was extremely smooth. Rong Dao Tao wiped the halberd of Fang Tian who was halberd, turned to look at Li Ziyi, and said, Are you going? Had. Li Ziyi sneered, flipping the spear in his hand, the meaning was obvious. On the side, Sun Xingyu also clenched the spear tightly, with the overturned thermos cup under her feet. Rong Dao Tao turned to look at the silent L. Yu Meng and raised his eyebrows slightly. L. Yu Meng's backhand reached behind his back and clenched the hilt of the sword at his shoulder. Rong Dao Tao nodded silently and looked at Zhang Tianpeng, do you think we are for? Zhang Tianpeng narrowed his eyes slightly, and took the big knife handed by his companion behind him, Hui. Rong Dao Tao's left foot collapsed, and his right foot slammed against the wall behind him and the whole person slammed into the other team like a bomb, I? I'll tell you today, what is a fruit plate? Chapter 26, Her Peach Call Rong Dao Tao's Fang Tian Huaji had a length advantage and took the lead in sweeping away, and Zhang Tinpeng's team of seven hurriedly retreated. Almost at the same time, two figures appeared at the entrance of the cave, but they were not wearing cotton hats, but training hats, and on their arms, there were also armbands with the word snow hanging on them. Snow Burning Legion Two soldiers suddenly appeared, and the scene that exploded quickly died down. At this moment, the students who were about to fight together abruptly stopped fighting. But, to everyone's surprise, one of the soldiers just waved his hand and said, during the assessment process, Shueren Jun will not interfere with the students' behavior, you continue. Crowd? What are they here for? Do you protect students' lives? Can't see outside the cave? It is estimated that if someone loses the ability to fight, they will be forcibly taken away and withdraw from the assessment, right? Boom. A muffled sound. Rong Dao Tao reacted the fastest, and as soon as the soldier's voice fell, Rong Dao Tao leaned on Fang Tian Hua Halberd in one hand turned the whole person in a small circle on the ground, and swept the whip to Zhang Tinpeng's face. Zhang Tinpeng's reaction was obviously half a beat slower, and he hurriedly blocked his body with the knife in his right hand. One kick. Zhang Tianpeng was kicked and staggered. In order to maintain his balance, he had to step back. Rong Dao Tao's strength did not reach the level of Si Huanian, and it was impossible to kick Zhang Tianpeng that far. It was only because of the sudden incident that Zhang Tianpeng lost his balance, so he took the initiative to step back, trying to keep himself from falling to the ground. Because of this, Zhang Tianpeng dengdened and took a few steps back, but in front of him was Rong Dao Tao who rushed out of the crowd. Zhang Tianpeng saw that something was wrong, and his body inertia made it difficult for him to maintain his balance. He simply turned around and ran out. Bending forward is obviously much better than leaning back. It can be seen that Zhang Tianpeng is ready to regroup and fight outside the cave. Rong Tao ran out of the cave like a wind and shouted to the two soldiers, borrowed. Tao Tao, I don't feed people today, I only hurt people. When Rong Dao Tao passed by two soldiers, the two soldiers looked calm, and even turned slightly to make way for him. The picture turned out to be a little joyful. Behind Rong Dao Tao, Wen Ying's face was gloomy, and she also rushed out. Rong Dao Tao, who was rushing forward, turned his head slightly and saw Wen Ying who was also rushing forward with a knife behind him. In the front, Zhang Tianpeng, who is leading the way, obviously has a very clear tactical idea. His goal is the dense forest not far ahead. Zhang Tianpeng has a good abacus and is bound to open the battlefield in his home court. Compared with the sword used by Zhang Tianpeng, Rong Dao Tao's Fang Tianhua halberd is heavy and long. In the dense snow forest, it is blocked everywhere, 
and it is not easy to display his skills. And Zheng Tianpeng also thought that if he led Rong Dao Tao out, it should be very safe for his remaining six companions in the cave to besiege the remaining three members of Rong Dao Tao's team. But Zheng Tianpeng never expected that Wen Ying's hatred for Rong Dao Tao seemed to be a little high, and she even chased after him. Rong Dao Tao's deliberately slow pace finally attracted a small fish. Just when the distance between the two was almost three meters, Rong Dao Tao braked suddenly and turned around. Rong Dao Tao's slightly arched and leaned forward body slipped backwards by less than a meter in the snow, and piled up snow that was neither high nor short on his heels. Rong Dao Tao once again used the length advantage of Fang Tian who was halberd. From the back to the front, the halberd swung out a half moon, turning the halberd into a stick. The heavy Fang Tian who a halberd hit Wen Ying from top to bottom. Wen Ying's gloomy face froze, and then her color suddenly changed. She thought she could sneak attack from the rear, and she had an advantage, but suddenly discovered her length disadvantage. The advantages and disadvantages are reversed in an instant. But Wen Ying is not a teacher, so she has no intention to praise Rong Dao Tao. In her heart, she has already begun to greet Rong Dao Tao's family. Taking Rong Dao Tao's mother as the radius, he chose the name freely within the range of his 18th generation relatives. Although Wen Ying also braked, this is snow, not concrete, and everyone's ability to control their bodies is more or less reduced. Wen Ying took several steps in a row to stop herself, but she also tried her best to turn, trying to avoid it. But who is Rong Dao Tao? How nasty he is! The moment Rong Dao Tao turned around, the distance between the two was less than three meters. Wen Ying was completely exposed to Rong Dao Tao's attack range, but the sword in Wen Ying's hand seemed so short at the moment. Rong Tao Tao is very long, especially long. Wen Ying, who tried her best to reverse her disadvantage, still propped up the sword with both hands and put it on top of her head. Bah! There was a loud bang, and the sound of steel colliding was a bit harsh. Wen Ying only felt her arms go numb, and she couldn't help but grin for a while. Rong Dao Tao's attack was not a hurried and panic attack, but a long planned attack. The long and heavy Fang Tian Hua halberd, but it fell after a half moon arc, of course, it has a huge blessing. Wen Ying, who was trying to adjust her posture and tried to break, was staggered by this heavy halberd, her feet were light, she actually lay down on her back and sat on the snow. Her last stubbornness was just holding the sword in both hands, resisting Fang Tian Huaji, who had been pressed to her face. And the wrong Dao Tao in front of her has always been bowing her body and legs. Stop! Do you still dare to kill me? Killing! Killing! Wen Ying screamed loudly, trying to seek help from the soldiers of the Snow Burning Legion, come and save me! Killing! Hei Rong Dao Tao grinned and sneered, the horse stance changed into a lunge, the action of holding a halberd and stabbing, the standard is outrageous. Even the snow burning legion, who was watching the battle, was all bright. I saw Rong Dao Tao's Fang Tian Hua halberd suddenly stabbing forward, but he aimed directly at the snow in front of Wen Ying's head. You must know that Fang Tian's painting halberd is in the shape of a well. The crescent-shaped sharp blade on the side of the halberd stuck tightly to the blade in Wen Ying's hand, and took the blade out. Rong Dao Tao had the absolute upper hand in her posture, position, and strength. Wen Ying couldn't even resist decently. Sitting in the snow, she could only allow Rong Dao Tao to act. The battle knife was taken away by the half-crescent blade, and her hands that were supposed to hold the knife were also pulled back, and with it, her posture in the snow also turned into lying back. What is the door wide open? Rong Dao Tao followed the movement of the forward thrust, and did not withdraw his force at all, but threw himself directly forward. Facing Wen Ying with the door wide open, Rong Dao Tao decisively lit her elbows. Between the lightning and flint, that heavy elbow hit Wen Ying's chin viciously. Flowing clouds and flowing water, pleasing to the eye. Rong Dao Tao didn't give anyone a chance to react at all. The connection between the actions, without even the slightest pause. 
boom. With a muffled sound, the camouflage uniform of the snow-burning legion saved Wen Ying's life. In order to keep warm, the students wore thick snow camouflage, so Rong Dao Tao's elbow hit was equivalent to a glove. Even so, under such a heavy blow, Wen Ying was stunned. Unexpectedly, the first person in her life to fall into her arms was not the Prince Charming who hit her, but a hurting peach. Of course, Rong Dao Tao couldn't give the opponent any chance. His left hand slammed into the snow, and his body was propped up, just to have enough space for his right elbow, and slammed it down again. To be honest, without the thick snow camouflage, Wen Ying might have suffered less. Rong Dao Tao's movements were fast and heavy. Boom! Another muffled sound. Horrible to hear. Wen Ying opened her dazed eyes, the severe pain came from her lower jaw, her vision became blurred, she pushed her hands randomly, trying to make a final struggle, stop, stop, kill. Rong Dao Tao's left hand forcibly pushed away her arm that was in front of her face but was unable to resist, and her right hand flashed her elbow again. Boom! Wen Ying, kill! Boom! Wen Ying, save, save! Boom! Wen Ying! Stop! Not far away, a man's voice came. Rong Dao Tao grabbed the halberd with his left hand, propped up his body again, raised his head, and saw a soldier walking in the distance. After confirming that it was Shui Ranjun's order, Rong Dao Tao slowly stood up. Under her feet, Wen Ying's face was red and swollen, the corners of her mouth were cracked, blood was flowing, and she was completely knocked out. What is steadfast? What is clean and neat? Wrong. Tao. Tao. Zhang Tinpeng's roar came from the forest in the distance. Rong Dao Tao turned around, smiled and waved to Zhang Tianpeng in the distance, your martial arts are a little sloppy. Pfft. Cough. The female student of the snow-burning legion who just picked up and passed out, almost laughed out loud when she heard Rong Dao Tao's words. The high literacy made the soldier not laugh, but he couldn't help but cough. Ask for a recommendation ticket.